Welcome to our podcast, where we cover unique and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket completing its launch after a three-year hiatus. SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, the world's most powerful active rocket, was launched into space for the first time since 2019. The launch took place at Florida's Cape Canaveral as the mission was carried out by the company owned by billionaire Elon Musk with the help of the U.S. Space Force. This was the first time that the U.S. Space Force used the rocket since the branch of the military was created by former President Donald Trump to monitor the country's defense missions in space. The Falcon Heavy was first used back in 2018 when it carried a red sports car made by Tesla to space as part of a trial run. It was also used to send a TV and phone service satellite to orbit for Saudi Arabia-based Arabsat. And the final mission included the transport of experimental satellites for the U.S. Department of Defense. However, it has been inactive since June 2019, according to Reuters. According to the official statement released by the U.S. military's Space Systems Command, the launch went completely according to the plan, and all three boosters detached themselves perfectly. While the authorities provided most of the information regarding the launch, the exact nature of the mission was not revealed. In the statement, the Space Systems Command said that it will be launching multiple satellites into orbit, which will help the military in strengthening its tracking capabilities. SpaceX has been working closely with the U.S. military as the government looks to increase the number of orbiting satellites used for surveillance purposes. The other major partner for the military is United Launch Alliance, which is a joint operation between Boeing and Lockheed Martin. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay connected for more exciting discussions and updates in our next podcast.